Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Forutech. 10 months before we uploaded the video for the new DSU sideloader application that help us to boot any custom GSI on any Android device which has Android version about 10. We got very good response by the viewer for that old video you can check that from the iCard. It's the advanced application which help us to boot any GSI with the flexibility to set its desired user data. Using this application we can install any GSI without running the long fast boot commands just we need to install with or without the root, boot any GSI and switch between the stock ROM and the GSI with just one tap. In that video, we only shown you the root method to install any GSI on your device, but actually the app works without the root using the ADB method. One important disclaimer is here, use this method at your own risk, we are not responsible for any kind of damages to your device. I tried to run the GSI using this method on the Nothing Phone 1. Installation was successful but none of GSI booted. Also OnePlus 9 RT didn't support the GSI so don't use this GSI installation on the OnePlus 9 RT. But my OnePlus Nord 2 booted most of the GSI ROMs using this method. So you have to own check your device is supported or not. Also recently developers of this application released a more advanced version that is the DSU Sideloader 2.01 which now supports the non-root Shizuku access and the new complete revamp of user interface with some advanced setting. So today in this video we will show you how you can run any GSI on your supported device without the root. We will also check what new gates in this new DSU sideloader application. I have given the link of the app in the video description. Download the app and install it as a normal APK. Also download any custom GSI build as per your device model table architecture. Now without further ado, let's get started. After installation of the application, you can see the complete user interface of this application is changed now. If you are using this application first time, then it will ask for the setup storage. App will redirect to the stock file manager storage, here app will ask to create the new folder, create it with any name. Tap on the allow access to use this folder. Now you go to the DSU sideloader application, they tap on the top installed option. It will again redirect us to the file manager to choose our downloaded custom GSI exit file. Please use the correct GSI file to check which GSI architecture your device support. Use the table application from the play store. Here my Nothing Phone 1 uses the ARM64 AB partition scheme. Select our desired downloaded GSI file which you want to run on your device. If you check the gear icon setting here application will show us the different settings like the built-in installer toggle which is only available for the rooted devices. SD card unmount toggle is also available here. Keep this toggle disabled because we didn't know what function it has. At last it shows which method we are using to run the GSI. Here we didn't have the root access so it's showing the ADP method. If you have the root access when you open the application first time we will get the magic prompt to give the root access and here in the setting it will show us the root as the operation method. We guess the toggle to change the user data size. You can set any user data size as per your device storage size. Default size is 2GB. This user data partition is used as a separate storage for the GSI which we are putting. Keep image size toggle as it is. Once all the things get done, tap on the install. App will show you the prompt for the details of GSI file and user data size that you selected. Then tap on the proceed. App will start to extract the exit file if you select the exit format of the GSI file. After extraction, app starts for the preparation of image file installation. Once done, it will show you the command to run the GSI using the ADB commands as we are using the non-root method. Here at the top, it gives the ADB command to run via CMD or using the PowerShell window. Below that, we get the commands to run the GSI installation without the PC like LADB, Shizuku, WebADB or using the bug checker application. We will see the second process in the another video. Now we will see the first ADB method command using the PC. Connect phone to the PC. On the phone, we will see the ADB permission. There check mark the box and the tap on allow button. Open the SIMD window in any folder on the desktop or inside the platform tools folder by pressing the shift key of keyboard plus right click of your mouse and select open PowerShell window from the drop down menu. Now in CMD type the command as you can check on the screen or copy paste the commands given under the video description. 
single spelling comma or the space mistake will not start the installation. Who case the installation activation started message in the CMD. On the phone if you have any pins or the password or the fingerprint security please accept it and you will see the GSI installation progress bar in the notification panel. Once done it gives the two options discard or reboot. Tap reboot to boot your device into the new GSI that will flash here. If everything goes well and if selected GSI supports your device, your device will boot into the new GSI. But here I tried the different GSI for my nothing phone one but still it's not booted. If something happens to your device and it's not booted to the GSI or if it's booted to the GSI successfully and you want to go back to the stock ROM, then just forcefully power up the device and reboot, it will boot to the stock original stock ROM. In the status bar, you continuously get the option to discard or boot your installed GSI. If you want to run any other GSI, then tap on the discard and repeat the steps to flash the GSI as you shown few minutes back in the video. Except the Nothing Phone 1 and 9RT devices might not to run most of the ROMs using this application. So you have to try it on your own device and let us know in the comment section if this method works for your device or not with the device name. App suppose the inbuilt update check in the about phone section. Developer Vegaboo has done the excellent work by releasing this very useful DSU side loader application which avoids the lengthy process of installation using the fast boot. It also supports the easy flashing and switching between the stock and GSI build without the data loss along with the separate user data partition for GSI build. So that's it for today guys. If you think this video helped you then please do like, share, subscribe, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.